today I'm back with another unboxing, this time an anime bento, and these are supposed to be the new, improved, better anime bento boxes, so a little bit disappointed in the past, but let's see if they are indeed truly better. They're supposed to all include a t-shirt now and overall more and better valued items. So let's see what I got. First up in the box I see this plushie and I believe this is from oh yep. Gurren Ling. A little critter guy from that. A little plushie. Looks like he might have a little loop here for hanging. If he wanted a hanging. I have not watched that particular anime, so don't know a whole lot about it. But anyway, a plushie, so that's a nice item. And let's jump right into our t shirt. Okay, and here is our t-shirt. It has one of the new maids on it. I like the color of the shirt. Wish they would have put some color to the character here instead of just having her all in black and white. Because I like colorful stuff, but Regardless, nice item to get a t-shirt. Next item I see in here is a Sword Art Online item. And guessing by looking at the pictures, looks like maybe a little wall scroll or something. With a good bit of variety that we could get apparently. So let me see which one I got. Okay, so this is very well rolled up. But there's actually two of these little posters here. This first one is like a Christmas theme. The second one we have is this one. Showing the sad, sad moment in the ending. Where the one girl dies, which is always sad in an anime but very nice posters and especially to get two of them so I'm guessing um, let's see here so that many plus so I guess maybe you get one of the ones that's like widthwise displayed and one of the up and down one vertical and one horizontal style of these posters and i really like sword art online so i definitely like those items there with the posters let's see what else i got looks like we've got a gachapon here a pikachu one so the gachapon that I got is this little Pikachu and he's like sitting and apparently you could have gotten like five possibilities here and also looking here in this picture you can like hook them together I guess and in looking there's a little loopy loop thing here so I guess apparently you can hook various ones together so anyway this is the gachapon I got and let's see what else oh my the dreaded food item this looks very interesting though giant I'm guessing that's a C under there Kaolico looks like it's strawberry flavored and looks like maybe strawberry cakey type. Got this nutrition fact 
thingy stuck on it that taking up a bit of space but I like that they stuck an English thing with jig on here so we can know some more about it but anyway food item I personally do not like to get food items in anime boxes I think it kind of takes away from the value a little bit because the food items you eat them and it's gone and anime boxes usually in general cost more than the Japanese snack boxes and what have you and so I personally do not like food items in anime boxes <laughs> but that's just me so let's see what is the next thing we got here looks like a card advertising Acon 27 in Dallas Texas okay so that's just like a little advertisement so that don't even really count as an item that would be good if i lived in texas but i do not so that's really of no use to me and here we have our monthly card got all the maids in their little outfits there very very nice get up there and so let's see what's in the bento the little grinling buta plush the glico giant caplico candy item the ico chan shirt the pokemon keychain and the sword art online poster collection so that's what we got and that is it and so to recap again or well I guess technically I just recap by telling you what was on the card so we got these items and I don't know guys this is the first of their supposed improved boxes and I'm still a little bit disappointed. I really like that they threw in a t-shirt and I like that this particular one had a Sword Art Online item because I love that. I like Pokemon too so the keychain's nice. I haven't watched this anime yet so I don't know. Plushies are nice though. And it's a decent sized plushie. Not a fan of the food items in an anime box. But overall, I don't know. It kind of still feels like it's a little lacking. And you're not really quite getting your money's worth. Because now there are codes for getting the box a little cheaper when you first subscribe. But once you move past that first initial month. The price obviously goes up to the full price for the next box and also for me personally I had to pay ten dollars just for the shipping on top of the price of the box so for me it is like forty five dollars and ninety some cents so almost forty six bucks and this is what I get it just kind of seems just a little lacking so I don't know guys this might be my last anime bento or I might just do every once in a while cuz it's just a little not quite getting your money's worth in my opinion but that's just my opinion so anyway just an unboxing for y'all what did you think did you like it? Did anyone else get it? Did you hate it? Always welcome comments if you would like. Just leave them for me or whatever. So, just a little unboxing video.